yeah, taping I'll, too? I'll, or? I'll see that, yeah. Okay, we're going. So tell us about this while he's while it's operating. Okay. Tell us what he's doing. Well, uh, as we said, uh, uh, the nice thing is he's got perfect visibility to those pads and no uh, big beam that's blocking it. So now he's, you see he's rotating the pads uh, into the position for uh, picking up the tire. And then in a minute, he's going to position his arms. He can side shift them, which moves both arms at the same time and uh, in the same direction. And then as he gets close, he'll go ahead and clamp the tire to be able to pick it up. So that's what he's doing right now. So if you imagine a, a tire on the ground that needs to be put back onto uh, a machine. So he's, he's picking up that tire off the ground right now. So how long does it take to learn how to operate one of these machines? Within a week they are extremely proficient. First day they're running it. Seriously? Yeah. But usually they've done tire handling operations before. Why is it squeezing the tire like that? For gripping. Yeah, they okay. need to do it to be able to grip it. If it had a wheel inside of it, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, deform it like oh, it does here, but it doesn't okay. have the wheel. So he's oh, normally gotcha. going to pick it up, and then when he gets up to a certain height, and he's going to rotate it into the position. That way. This is pretty amazing. No. So that's... Oh. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I think they're going to take that little uh, poster out of the center there. Oh. It's just laying there. It's not attached at all. Ah. Uh. So how many of these demonstrations have you done today? Uh, probably about five, five or so. So these will, these um, pieces of machinery will go on to a job site, and how long will they stay on the job site? Uh, they may they may stay there ten years, sometimes even longer than ten. Oh, years. seriously? Oh yeah. yeah. And how often do these tires have to be adjusted? Well, it, it, of course, the most of these. Uh, users have a fleet of trucks. Uh, you know, they may have 10 haul trucks, they may have 100 haul trucks, mm -hmm. uh, in which case uh, you'll have more. But um, they're using these trucks almost every day. So it's not every day, but it's almost every day. And tell me again, what are some of the reasons that they would they would change the tires or move the tires around? Well, when uh, tires get flat, mm -hmm. they need to be replaced. Uh, same thing with worn tires. So as tires wear, they need to replace the tires as well. And how long does a tire like this last? And on on a job site? Like... I, I don't know the answer to that question. Okay. Dennis will probably have a better answer. Uh, and so now again, he's now rotating the tire. He get it into the position for putting it on a truck. And again, normally by now we'd have the wheel in place, etc. Come on back over here. Okay. What we want you again to see is the visibility. So right. Oh, no, I see. Of the there's operator. No, there's no beam there, so the, the operator could actually see right there. See, I put the uh, all the that, way through the tire, right onto oh, the yeah. machine that it was going to be installing the tire on. That will be the largest tire. That's 5980, 63. So it's got the biggest opening. It's not now the you highest can see weight. He's actually rotating it. When he rotates it, the center of the tire stays in the same spot. So when they need to adjust it and position it just the right way to, to line it up, uh, it's got uh, this, this rotation that allows a perfect placement of the tire. And then what they will typically do now would be drive it forward and place it over the top of the. Uh, Excellent. Do they do this? Is it all monitored by sight, or are there some? Yeah, there's usually a spotter on the ground to help them okay. to position. And so they have to together. Yeah. It's, again, it's about feel, and it's about sight. It's not about any kind of uh, electronic that's right. um, device that, that measures. But this truck just has so much better visibility uh -huh. than the truck and the entire hand combination. And you're saying that the other, some other kinds have a yeah, beam. Yeah, a lot that of times you'll have a beam right through the middle here, and you can't see it, so you're completely dependent. Uh, somebody on the ground or multiple people on the ground. It's just a whole lot more different to position the tire. So you're talking about one operator and probably one person on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, that person on the ground then is also the guy that's turning a wrench, tightening the uh, gotcha. uh, bolts that need to be assembled. That's really cool.
as I mentioned, it's got a lot more functionality in terms of what it can do with the wheels. It can break the uh, tire off of the wheel, break the bead seal, get the wheel out of the tire, and no tire handlers have been able to do that before. So it's got a lot more functionality now than we've ever seen in a tire handler. Range of clamping to unclamping, 42 up to 170. Yeah, I Go gave down to the to 20, 20 and a half by uh, 25 all the way up to a uh, 598063 tire. And how long has this product been in operation? This one here, uh -huh. you're into the 35 two years, the 22, the smaller version, roughly seven years. Okay. One before that goes back to the 1960s. Oh, wow. That's fine. Design and a uh, product tested over time. <laughs> so what's, what are the features that this, the newer model has than over the one that was built in the 60s? Uh, clamping range, 60s, you got up to your 8, 10,000 pound capacity. Mm -hmm. Up to, now we're up to 35,000 pound. Oh. All trucks and wheel loaders keep getting bigger, the tires go with them. And uh, the tires, many of these tires will have chains around them, which increases the weight of the tire. So uh, the primary benefit is a bigger opening range for heavier tires. So it's got more capacity, more lifting capacity in the truck and in the attachment, uh, as well as a bigger opening range for the biggest of tires. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much.